What's going on, everybody? It's Patrick Mid Ten Outdoors with CJ. Just holding Hi. the camera. We are at Shallow Battlefield. Um, I'm returning to Shallow. I came here in the 80s as a Boy Scout. Uh, hiked many, many trails here. I will throw a picture now of all the patches I got when I was here um, from hiking all the trails from you know all over um, shallow but I have never been to this part of shallow before as far as the visitor center and all that and we got a book to get stamped while we're here pick up a sticker and uh, we're going to tour around shallow and check it out and you'll see some of that and after we get done with that we're headed to uh, Natchez Trace State Park for the night to camp out and back home so we're going to go check out the visitor center and everything, and we'll be back. What's going on, everybody? Chloe's going to change into something a little bit warmer. It got chilly last night. It got down to 32 just a little bit ago, actually. Didn't film much last night. It was cold when we got here and getting dark quick. So we set up camp right there. You see, I had the truck and the umbrella set up. Got a little warming fire going right now, just to warm up as we're packing up. <clears throat> Natchez Trace State Park is a beautiful park. Didn't pay attention to where I'm staying, but this is actually an awesome campsite. It's campsite number 62. Bathroom is right over there. As you can see right there, there. Um, but this is the horse side. <laughs> People that have horses can stay here. If you look right there are hitching posts. You can tie a rope between them, hitch your ho horses up, and they've got them all down through there at the different campsites. But uh, typical fare to campsite, you got a fire pit, picnic table. Um, you've got a lantern post and grill i said earlier this was probably going to be our last camp out of 2021 um oh mr buddy heater worked um had change out cylinder eh, it was about midnight if i had started a little later it would probably ran all night i would have had well i would have had, still had to change out cylinders but changed out one cylinder 11.30 because we started it too early. If I'd started around 9, it would have probably ran until about 1. And then the other one would have finished out. I'd had to let the heater cool down. But it kept, I would say it kept the tent at least 15, 20 degrees warmer than it was outside. I was really impressed. And I don't have, I have a 
season in a half tent. <laughs> it's not a three season, not a four season. It's, <clears throat> it is what it is. I invented it all up in the thing. Uh, also had a CO detector. It never went off, so we never had problem issue with CO in the tent with the heater running. So, don't believe all the hype that you hear that you can't run those things in the tent because we did last night and it helped. It helped tremendously. Chloe's new sleeping bag did great. She has a Teton Celsius. Brand new. You can see it right there. I'll explain to you real quick in case you're wondering how we did things. Um, I actually put the heater in the center of the tent right there on that big cookie sheet. Um, I use poncho liners underneath sleeping bags for insulators. And that's my Alps negative five sleeping bag. So I was nice and toasty. But that's pretty much how we had it set up last night. No, nothing spectacular. We, uh, that's it. Now, Mr. Sunshine is coming to greet us. I like Natchez Trace State Park. It's a pretty park. Um, of course, none of the leaves, all the leaves have fallen pretty much, and it's winter. So, I think I'm done with camping. We'll be doing some more outdoor stuff in the winter, though. Um, day type stuff, and that's, that's going to be about it. All right, guys, I want to thank you for watching the video. Um, we had a great time. Shiloh was really cool reliving some of that old stuff, the Bloody Pond, uh, all the historical part of it that I really didn't um, probably pay that close attention to when I was, you know, a Boy Scout and everything and earned got all these patches. You had to, earn, you had to um, answer questions and stuff on each of the trails. And all the trails meant something different. All the trails were something different. Um, but yeah, I did the compass. I did, uh, there was two different 12 milers. One 16 miler. The compass was 10 miler. And then I did the um, march from Corinth to Shiloh itself, which was a 20 miler back in the 80s. So there are some serious hikes that were done there from the scouts and still do. Uh, you can still get online and see those hikes and you know if you're a scout troop I highly recommend going and doing them very knowledge, very informative and that kind of thing so um, once again I also want to thank Chloe for tagging along with this one I'm sorry baby it was another cold one um, but we're done for the year we're probably done camping for the year Unless we get a warm snap here in Tennessee, which that happens. I've seen some 80 degree Decembers. Um, very rare, but I've seen it happen. But, you know, the notion strikes me. I may leave the stuff in the truck. Then all I can do is throw food in and go. But with that said, I appreciate everybody watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the new subscribers and all the people that uh, are checking out the channel. It means a lot to us. I mean, it means more than you really know. All right, guys, that's for it for this one. As we always say, be prepared and see you on the next one.